just like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now baby know that i gave him my all i believe in us i won't give up on you i will to go um, just going to pick up Mika now from Valley and uh, half term and it's Gale Force wins <laughs> horrendous for the next week while we're on um, holiday but you've always got to look on the bright side went for pasta coffee the card machine's broken got free coffee get it welcome to Scotland whoop, whoop. holiday time we have made it to Scotland. We are parked up. Um, I think, I think, um, just north of Balmaha. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, right off the back of, um, or off the side of um, Lot Lomond. The back doors open up onto the water. So about a meter behind the the. Uh, basically where the van doors open to there's a little metal, metal rail and then there's a load of rocks and then the lock is basically crashing over the rocks uh, the water's crashing over the rocks so we're on the edge of the lock it's exactly how I planned um, the only thing that's slightly uncomfortable is we are on a bit of a slant um, not much <clears throat> but we are on a slant um, there's about four or five campers here already um, and we found this place on park for night so we knew it was a, a safe place to go we don't have to think about anything don't have to worry Park rangers come round just to make sure everybody's okay, they don't kick you out of here or anything like that. So it's a pretty safe place to be, which means you can just relax. That's the wind, if you can hear that. The wind was horrific coming up on it on the motorway. Yeah, it was like everywhere. Everywhere, blowing the van. You'll have seen on the time lapse before. Um, if, you, the, if you even let go one time, if there was only one tiny finger left on the wheel, it would just go like this. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It was fight. I was really fighting the wind. Luckily, the wind was most of it was exactly um, coming from the south, so it was actually pushing us up the motorway. Um, you won't believe it on the miles per gallon I got, but um, we are fully loaded, and I got a full tank of fuel. And biggest mistake put filling up with fuel. Biggest mistake ever. Uh, you should always just run with half a tank because it's just it's got extra weight in your van. Um, but we've done that now. We shouldn't need to fill up again. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, it, um, it was pretty wild. And then when we got here, the um, the sun came out and um, we popped into a pub uh, just down the road from here um, to meet my mate Matt from the army. So we, um, we had a nice little catch up. Um, not seen him since uh, back end of last year. Before that, we've not seen each other since 2011. So it's good to catch up. It doesn't feel like a day's passed since you saw each other, obviously. Um, and yeah we've just rocked up here as i said there's a few campers here already so we're pretty safe we're pretty comfortable um we just need to get ourselves bedded down uh admin away because it's you know it's like the first night away anywhere 
um, not just in a van but anywhere you go on holiday and that you're trying to find your bearings and put stuff where it needs to be and then it doesn't fit and you need to move stuff around all that sort of stuff it's even harder in a van because obviously it's a lot smaller um, you know I can reach across that way and if I laid down that way and stretch I could probably touch touch uh, the front and rear of the van as well so all in all we're pretty happy where we are aren't we mm -hmm. you happy yeah yeah are you tired nope so she was falling asleep in the pub so I said let's go to the shop and we'll get you some chocolate so she had a Cadbury's cream egg a huge donut a huge Dunkin donut that by the way we're on offer because we won't pay full price for them um, and huge lollipops. a massive swizzle lolly so she's just turned into a complete idiot now no I'm not I'm so she's big. just come so she's just turned into a complete lunatic now no I'm not um, what else that's it. I think we're just gonna get ourselves sorted out in here and just relax because I didn't Not sleep relax. last night. Play oh, dominoes. Yeah, maybe. So whenever I go anywhere, I might have said this before on previous videos, but I'm like a little kid. I just get so excited that I stay awake all night and then I always wake up really early. So I had planned to get about seven and a half hours sleep last night. That was like my actual plan. And I think I got about five. So while I was driving up here, as per the previous video, I had to stop for coffee because I was just like, I was getting, I was getting close, right? So um, yeah, pulled off, got the coffee, got up here, um, now we're having this nice little chocolate beer. It says chocolate on it. Chocolate from York. From York, but... Not the New York. Not New York, no, but if you need to complain, you need to contact the customer services in Sweden. Well. Right, oh. enough for now. I guess the next time we will be back on the camera will be tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although I have just taken a still on the GoPro um, on night mode, so I may put that on here as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to drink the rest of this beer, get self sorted out in the van, and probably just lie down and chill out because I am pretty tired. Or maybe just before that plays dominoes! <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>
amazing with all the chaos that goes on in the world it's not actually that difficult to get away from it <clears throat> I've just seen one person run past and the guy came down who was traveling all over Scotland with a book that tells you where to find great photos um, so in his words it's a little bit like cheating because <clears throat> it tells you uh, where to go to get the best shots but it also saves you a lot of time um, so he actually came to take a photograph of that and I'd already taken pictures of it the tree that is <clears throat> but yeah it's just beautiful here I can't believe how quiet and peaceful it is and undisturbed there's no rubbish anywhere so Amika's in the van she's uh well she needs more sleep than me she's a little kid so I just leave her to it I'll let her get some rest and then um I will wake her up oh, that was close I'll wake her up and um we'll have some breakfast and then probably move on like the guy said to me, he said, where are you going next? I said, I don't know. <laughs> Got no plans. Don't know where we're going next. All we're going to do is just move till we find somewhere that looks nice and then stop. Um, but we are going to have to spend a little bit of time in the van today because the weather is, well, the rain's just starting now, so the weather's going to get worse and worse throughout the day. Um, a little bit windy but then the wind's going to drop down this evening and then tomorrow is going to be clear um so yeah we'll probably try and get around glencoe in that weather because to have clear skies cloud clear clear skies with some clouds will be great to be up there if it's foggy it'll still be great but you won't see much so God, so peaceful so so peaceful All right, well, I'm going to go and wake Amika up now and get some food and get back in the van because I'm pretty cold. Did the front one. Amika's finally awake. Yeah. You had your breakfast? Yeah. Two loads of breakfast. Yeah. Have you brushed your teeth? No. Uh, we forgot, haven't we? We'll have to go and get to the next place. Um, so yeah, it's really busy here now. There's loads of people turned up in uh, cars with roof racks and they've all gone kayaking and wild swimming. Yeah. Um, so they're obviously more mad than we are. Um, we still don't know what we're doing. We're just going to get in the van and drive somewhere. Drive to the shop that we went to yesterday and got loads of cream eggs! We're in Scotland, on half term, and all she's interested in is Cadbury's cream eggs. Yeah! Mind you, that's pretty cool when you're a kid. Yeah! I'm in control. In control of what? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I'm in control of myself! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I am! I'm so crazy because of that chocolate that I had yesterday. That's out of control, not in control. <laughs> You're out of control. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long day. I think we need to lay off the chocolate a little bit. No. <laughs> no. More cream eggs. More cream eggs. Very good. So we're going to go back south, nip into the shop because there's a few things we need to get, and then we're going to go over to the other side of the lock probably like 15 minutes north uh, up the west side of the lock there's loads of laybys there probably gonna pull in get another coffee have a little bite to eat you mean Costa coffee <laughs> Costa coffee I wish I woke up in the morning like that every morning <laughs> coffee yeah okay so we're gonna find somewhere to pull up anyway and um, <laughs> and then see what's around and go and find something to do and hopefully i can lose her on the way no never 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 i'll sell you to a scottish person no yeah i'll swap you for a, a highland cow ew 
no. Yeah. Not a horrible hiding cow. At least I'll get loads of free milk. Right, let's go. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I